Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube. It's your girl, Honey. Welcome back. And those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Honey and I am your astrologer for today, okay? Before I get into what this video is about, I do have some news. I do officially have my how to read a birth chart course coming out on my website. I will link it below in the comments section. So make sure you guys click the link at the right time. Because right now I'm still finishing the little finishing pieces to it. But it will be available February the 5th. Which is well because it will be a full moon that day. Okay. I also, I've got to mention, gosh, I also have a yearly forecast that's available for you guys. Because obviously, like, you know, we want to know what's happening in the year ahead. And how it affects all of us individually. And what our themes for that year is likely to be. That is also available directly from my website i will link it in the comment section below here okay so people let's just talk a little bit about what's going on we have a full moon coming february the 5th and it will be in leo whenever there's a full moon that happens there's obviously some themes that are likely to happen during the week of the full moon those of you who have planets personal planets in particular in your fix signs which is taurus scorpio aquarius leo at around the mid degree you'll be affected yeah we will be affected let me tell you the themes that tend to happen during the full moon yeah because it just gets ridiculous so i think about leo a self-expression the inner child creativity drama performing arts children dating romance flings sex you know leo just wants to have a good time where's the drinks at where's the bar leo wants to enjoy itself and aquarius also wants to have a good time as well but it wants to regain its independence and whenever there is a full moon there's always this push and pull or this pull between these two areas so if we simplify it and um, the moon is your sense of security so the things that you find and feel secure and then you have the sun as your goals your aspirations and the way in which you want to express yourself now what makes this full moon a bit more challenging is the fact that the sun struggles in aquarius and obviously the sun is the sun rules leo so you have the ruler of leo in the opposite sign as opposed to where leo is so you have two areas that are likely to be in conflict during that week because you're trying to express yourself in both of these areas leo the sun is your sense of expression so whatever house you have aquarius and leo at around the 16th degree it's likely to be where you are going to have some struggles surrounding where you want to put your focus and what you need to do is negotiate the full moon is always asking us to negotiate in these two areas but especially the leo and aquarius energy you've got to put both of your energy and a sense of expression in both of these areas leo can be a little bit self-centered at times you know surrounding what it feels it wants to do in that moment but also bear in mind how that sense of expression in that moment can be or received by others so it also depends on the house placements that you do have aquarius and leo those of us who have pluto in scorpio right we are the generation that is very intense and my pluto is going to be squaring the sun and the moon and so is my mercury which i'm not very happy about so there's going to be a lot to do with intense emotions that we issues within your home within your family and obviously a heightened need for self-expression but through independence it might even be a thing for those of you who have Pluto being involved as well in your personal charts you might want to go out and go and party with your friends and you might have not seen your friends for ages and your partner is saying no you've got this to do or maybe you've got to stay at work because you've got to finish work or you know depending on what house you have your Aquarius and your Leo in it's going to be the houses that are highlighted for you that week the sun being the um, sense of expression and whatever house you have Aquarius in at 16 degrees will be where the focus is going to be and the moon is going to be where it's going to throw you off and be slightly unhinged or unbalanced so it's about you trying to find a balance in between the two if you have Pluto involved it's very important I feel like we should be doing this anyway when it comes to the full moon but during that time you have to say the things you are grateful for what you are appreciative of and allow yourself to forgive when i've had full moons in aquarius and leo before i have had to forgive
forgive and move on. I can't harbour and keep things in. It's very unhealthy to have something happen during a full moon and you keep it in and you hold it and you're mad about it because that's negative energy and it's about you releasing and letting go and moving on. And that's the theme essentially for every full moon you're supposed to let go, say your appreciations, your gratitudes, your thank yous or whatever, but you allow yourself to let go and move on. So when you think about house placements, what exactly could that, you know, possibly represent for you? So those of you who are like cancer rise and you have the sun going through your eighth house. The eighth house is the house of other people's resources, your partner's things, your partner's money. Maybe you might discover that they are earning a little bit more than you thought they were, or they're hiding money, or they're hiding their assets, they're hiding something from you. When the sun goes through here, the sun exposes exactly what was going on in there. So what's being hidden essentially comes to the surface and comes to light. And obviously their money, whatever they're hiding, financially impacts or affects you because you've got the moon placed in that second house. That's why it's important to really understand forgiveness, <laughs> which is easier said than done, obviously. But get into the space of trying to forgive your partner, okay? Uranus is also going to be involved in this get a transit. This. So Uranus is surprises, upheaval, unexpected events, unorthodox, rebellious tendencies. And every time Uranus is involved in these new moons or these eclipses, this is where we see things that happen unexpectedly. So things that you are likely to be surprised about, things coming to the surface, things happening abruptly, people breaking up, big fight that could happen, an accident that can happen abruptly, things just happening. And you know what you've got to do with this energy? It's very important that if you are in a place where you are doing things behind the scene, you've been working on this project. This is crazy because this is exactly what I've been doing, working on this project. You know, Mars has been retrograding for months, people. You're working on a project and now Mars is direct. It's time for you to kind of prepare yourself. Big reveal. You know, you might have lost like 20 pounds and you're going to reveal yourself. Like, where's my belly gone, people? You've got a breast reduction or you've got a new nose or some sort of cosmetic surgery. I don't know. It could be anything. But it's a time where you are trying to reveal yourself because this is Leo energy. It's about you being dramatic. Leo is all about self-expression. You know, you want to express yourself in a different way. So how have you been able to do that over the last couple of months? Like, have you been holding yourself back? Have you been working on some different project? And now is the time that you really want to come out and show people what you've been working on. This is the perfect time to publish, to let go. Go for that recognition that you desire to have because this full moon is all about the dramatics and getting attention, essentially. So people, um, if you guys will leave your house placements in the comments, let me know where you have Aquarius and Leo and what houses you have the 16th degree. And I will happily give you an explanation as to what to expect for the new moon. But, not, but again, I do have a forecast available on my website. Just click the link below and you will get more information there. All right, people. All right, take care, people. Bye-bye.